Dear Jesus, your respected note is a letter I will keep nearby for reference and reinforcement on hard days. It is a great encouragement to have the support of a former immigration minister and executive vice president of your quality, and it will be uncommonly thoughtful for you to write me in this personal way. You are an expert dreamer, Jesus. You are custodian of a planet on the verge of extinction. You are a dweller of a society in deep crisis with no apparent leadership able to move us forward in the direction of maturity. You are an expert dreamer. You are a disciple of Marshall and Truman. You are a visionary of a 21st century that should catapult global society into the best world we have ever imagined. You are an expert dreamer. You have the ability to dream and love. Once upon a time I decided to travel the world to serve you, Jesus. I went north and south. I traveled east and west, exchanged millions of messages, conducted thousands of interviews, reached you, Jesus, wherever you were. I discovered a example of representative men and women of stature. You are an expert dreamer, Jesus. You are the salt of this world of ours with no apparent leadership. I encourage you to accept an offer to join the best team of expert dreamers that has ever been put together to serve the global public interest. You are an expert dreamer. The world needs you, Jesus. You are a giant on whose shoulders I envision a fair capitalism. You are the seeds of progress and prosperity. No better world will materialize without your action, your vision, your involvement in the best journey of our lifetime. There exists a Desmond. There exists a world of utopia and cornucopia. This world is no longer in my brain or my imagination. This world begins on the decim day that opens up the window of opportunity. There is revolution ahead if you, Jesus, accept this offer. It is an offer full of optimism. It is an offer that incorporates the dream and the love of someone that deeply respects and admires your knowledge, attitude and warfare. One day I will stand up and scream the urgency of our time. One day I will move one step forward and shout the urgency of our time. I will call up your name, Jesus. I will ask each and every one of you to join the best team of dreamers of love and lovers who dream. As a European, I am proud of the great contemporary men of Canaan's time who with their great work and passion design implemented and delivered a plan that today is, according to many, the success story of foreign aid of our time. Kenan and his contemporaries understood their moment of truth and urgency and helped build the basis of what is today the European Union, a history of science fiction back in the 1950s. It is time for the men and women of our time to understand our moment of truth and urgency, to reach new approaches to foreign policy that incorporate the developing world in an international consensus that values the environment and the human being above everything and anything else. I traveled the world and found you, Jesus, hiding your vision. You must step forward because you have the heart of a lover and the mind of a dreamer, able to imagine and materialize a better world. We owe this journey to the great men and women who design the world we currently inhabit. Well, Jesus, some of the best people we have in this land have to be drafted. We hope you will prove to be one of them. And I am expecting you to say yes. So, Jesus, will you join 